We're going to start with the sellers. And there's a re residential seller advisory that all sellers are given. And it's cute because it says, when in doubt, disclose. And we're going to be talking about the SPUDs. Now it's not S-P-U-D-S, it's S-P-D-S, the Seller's Property Disclosure Statement, which is through the Arizona Association of Realtors. Sellers need to disclose. It's what they are called material or important facts about the home. Whether they feel it's important or not, it needs to be disclosed. There are six different general sections in the SPUDs the SPDS. You have ownership and property information. You have building and safety information to put in. Information also on utilities. Another general section, number four, is environmental information. Anything from soil settlement expansion, drainage, grade or erosion, noise from surrounding areas including airport and traffic noise, and any odors or other nuisances. The fifth section is sewer or waste treatment. There are lots of different questions that come up on sewer um, or waste treatment as a result of claims involving alleged misrepresentation that the property was connected to a sewer system and it really wasn't. And then the sixth section other condition and factors. And these are just blank lines that provide space for a seller to explain something on the disclosure that might be misleading or whatever. But it is just a wonderful form that not only protects the buyer, but it protects the seller because they have to disclose. Also know that a seller does not have to make a repair if it is disclosed. Of course, that becomes part of a negotiation, but technically and legally speaking, a seller would not have to make uh, a repair if it is disclosed on the spuds. So if you have any questions, give us an email, and we'll see you next week at Real Estate in Tucson and Southern Arizona.